Drowning is a leading cause of death in young children, according to the CDC, and cases always rise during the hot summer months. At Rady Children's Hospital, they're sounding the alarm about water safety and say they are seeing a surge in near drownings. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has more on the danger and how you can prevent tragedy in the water. Last month, doctors here at Rady Children's saw a total of 17 near drownings. Last week, they saw five in one day. This surveillance video posted to Twitter by NBA player Andre Drummond shows his two-year-old son falling into a pool with adults nearby, proving just how quickly a near drowning can occur. Each one of those parents in those situations, it wasn't expected. Frank Sterniolo would know he's a nurse in the emergency department at Rady Children's Hospital, where in June staff treated 17 near drowning victims. This month will likely total more. So far we've seen about nine or 10 just this month alone. We're on par to see probably about 18 or 20. Just last week, a 12 year old boy was revived after being found unconscious in Mission Beach. On June 14th, 18 year old Crawford High School graduate Wood Lane Zashi went missing after swimming with friends in Mission Beach. Lifeguards believe he drowned. Sadly, his body still hasn't been found. This could happen to anybody. It's because of those stories and so many others, Sterniolo wants to educate the public in hopes of preventing a tragedy. For older kids, near drownings usually occur in the ocean. When it comes to younger kids, they usually happen in pools. Sterniolo says it's crucial to have a fence and locking gate, as well as what he calls touch supervision. We want you to be close enough to the child where you can touch them and grab them if they run into trouble. And this is around the age of five or younger. Also, keep in mind floaties are life-saving devices. Vests approved by the Coast Guard are. If your child hasn't had swim lessons, consider signing them up. If you're a parent, knowing CPR can be life-saving as well. Give oxygenation and prevent further injury after something horrible like this is going to increase the chances that the child doesn't have any issues when they come to the hospital. But the biggest thing, says Sterniolo, is to make sure an adult is always watching because sometimes simply being there isn't enough. Usually the family is present with the child. The child is within a vicinity that they are aware they're playing, maybe with cousins or friends, and then all of a sudden somebody calls out and they don't know where the child is. Brady Children's offers a number of drowning prevention resources. For a link, just go to CBS8.com and click on the help button.